we bought an Echo Dot. We've finally entered the 21st century. Look, I'm not going to spend ages plugging stuff for Amazon, right? But Alexa's quite good. The only problem is every time you say Alexa, unless you say it really quietly, the damn thing asks you a question. It's starting to piss me off. So I now secretly talk about the A word. If you don't say it out loud, it doesn't answer you. I have asked it, obviously, if it is being actually monitored by the British Intelligence Service, because we could have a secret microphone listening into everything that I'm putting on Twitter. I say that just as an introduction to today's little talk. I was listening on the A word to BBC Radio 4, and suddenly there appeared a presenter saying that Jeremy Corbyn is peddling Brexit snake oil, as Chucky Mark just said. The only oil are the oily Tories. Oil coming from every pore. Oil going, I'm an humble man, I am, sir. I'm an humble man, and I'll serve ye well. I will indeed, sir. I's humble man, that's oil. Oil coming up to Tory arse lickers, Tory sucker-ups, to corporate masters. I'm an humble man, I am. After Brexit, we'll give you the NHS, Mr Trump. I'm so humble. I'm so oily. Oil. The only oil comes from the Tories. The only snakes are the snakes and lies of their particular brand of neo-fascism into which we're walking with open hands. We're walking into neo-fascist Tory post-Brexit basket case fascism. So... Just to go back to what I intended to say. I turned it off, man. I told A Word to stop. I'm sick of hearing that crap. Absolutely sick of it. BBC Radio 4. Just, you know, pounding out all the stuff they're supposed to pound out for the Tories. Trolling and fear-mongering. But now, guess what? Brandon Lewis has already said, and don't forget, Brandon Lewis is in my MP for Great Yarmouth. He's already said that they are going to hire an army of social media trolls to tweet out and Facebook Tory party policies. In other words, they're going to pay people to tell their lies for them. I want to ask Brandon Lewis, and if you are in Great Yarmouth, Brandon, and you are watching at the moment, how much are you going to pay these paid tweeters? Do you even think it's legal? don't know if it would even be legal to pay people to say what you tell them to say. Where are they going to be based, Brandon? Your Lewis, your Mr Lewis, your offices are near the Fisherman's Hospital in Great Yarmouth. We were standing outside there a while ago with loads of posters about labour and stuff like how you were cutting back on PCSOs and things like that. Are you going to have the paid tweeters in your offices, Mr Lewis? Are you going to bust them down to London? Um, are you going to provide them with a zero hours contract? Oh, sorry, Mr Lewis, it will be a flexible hours contract. You're going to give them bonuses for tweeting more Tory policies. You're going to pay by the tweet. You're going to pay a batch at a time. You're going to give them regular hours. Or are only you, of course, going to get to use 
the executive toilet. Like the gold-plated one used by Mr Hunt. Pathetic, man. They're really having a go now, aren't they? And I just want to more or less end with a quote which I got from Chucky Mark, and it's really what persuaded me to come straight on here. The quote from Chucky Mark was, he was saying how, you know, they, the press are going on about us having to accept st substandard milk from cows with udder infections. And he said, udder infections the size of Brandon Lewis's gammon. <laughs> Brandon, I didn't say that. I'm just repeating it. Mr. Lewis, how big's your gammon? Take care. Bye.